What I love about Kristen is from the from the first moment I met her, she always fights for what she believes is truly important. She truly believes in equity for all. She believes that we need to promote diversity, we need to promote inclusion, and she wants to make sure as best she can that people are not left behind. Kristen started medical school in 1996. And we started the Student Run Free Clinic project in 1997. So she was really part of this founding team of students. There was a meeting called at the Garin Auditorium. Anybody interested in supporting a free clinic starting on campus? It was to provide care for folks who didn't have insurance and our homeless folks at the time who didn't have access to Medi-Cal. We developed a philosophy for the free clinic of empowerment and humanism, and the patient is your teacher. Instead of coming in like, I'm the doctor, I know, um, it's more like, teach me about yourself, teach me about your culture, let me know how best to help you. She does a lot of uh, activities beyond uh, just working in clinic at family health centers. She works with clinics that deliver free care to asylum seekers, and Dr. Brunel has also a passion for advocacy and has been involved in state level advocacy. Uh, in addition, she brings along residents from her residency program to kind of light that fire of advocacy in them. She really embodies that, that true altruism. As far as my inspiration for working on important causes, I think it's a mix of my upbringing. So my father was a public defender, federal defender, and my mom was a nurse midwife who was kind of a feminist from the 60s. Then mixed with, I found people along the way who were doing things that I liked and always felt like I fit in more with, with those folks. She's really um, involved and wants to see our future do well. She's deeply ingrained in the residency training program at family health centers. Kristen's volunteer efforts are really, truly impressive. They really span the gamut from volunteering with the Black Lives Matter movement, bringing health care into underserved populations, and she has this amazing energy and engagement with multiple projects. She is truly a change maker. I'd like to say that the UCSD Change Maker Award um, should go out to all of the UCSD and San Diego doctors working with our patients in this hard time. So Kristen, I really want to congratulate you on receiving this award. You are somebody who is so humble and compassionate and kind and dedicated to social justice. I don't see you as somebody who seeks awards, but rather models the behavior that deserves to receive awards. So I just really want to thank you for all you've done for Free Clinic and for the community all these years and for continuing to be you. Some of Patrick's best qualities, I would certainly name number one, his passion, uh, his incredible intelligence, number two, and then thirdly, that he means very well. He wants to have an impact. Dr. Ledden's father, Patrick J. Ledden Sr., was a professor of mathematics at UC San Diego, and he also served as provost of John Muir College and associate chancellor of the university. As such, Patrick Ledden basically grew up on the UC San Diego campus. When I was a kid, my mom would take me over there and see some giant electron microscope where I'd see my dad teaching his class, which he was teaching calculus, which I think as a, as a 10 year old, I don't think I quite understood. He also would teach a course in James Joyce's Ulysses. So here you have a math professor teaching something in the literature department. It was just kind of, he was kind of an amazing guy in every way. After UCSD, I went off to medical school. One of the reasons I went into medicine was just to see if there's a way I could take some of my engineering and physics background and bring that to improve the quality of medical care. And uh, shortly after doing some training uh, as a physician, both an internship in radio and residency in radiology, I went ahead and started a company named Nova Medical. Um, and the goal of this company was to take some technology, improve the technology that uh, was present uh, in medicine for diagnostic imaging. He's elevating the level of technology in academic centers, and then the academic centers are in turn developing techniques that end up in clinical systems. He's sort of at the tip of that spear in the sense that he's um, 
He's allowing academic centers to do things that they, they couldn't otherwise. And, and I think, frankly, every major MRI research center in the world knows that he's, he builds the best stuff. What is very interesting is that we've been able to develop products that have been able to really get medicine to the next level. Patrick is deserving the Changemaker Award for many reasons, but let me condense it in one story. There was a little girl with epilepsy who was running around with her parents from hospital to hospital trying to find a solution for her seizures. One day she comes to a 7 Tesla machine equipped with Patrick Ladin's coil and it was possible through this scan, through this high resolution scan, that the doctors could actually identify lesions that were previously unseen and they were able to operate her and she's now associated seizure free. Not everyone can say that something they're putting their hands on um, can make a difference in somebody else's lives that they'll never even know. And to say that we do that is just an awesome feeling. Dear Patrick, I congratulate you for winning this Change Maker Award. On behalf of Physical Sciences, I'd like to offer our sincerest congratulations on this award and thank you again for your continued engagement with UC San Diego. On behalf of your family, friends, and employees, they all want to wish you congratulations. Jamie is, I guess, the one word, one phrase that would define him is that he's a people person. He likes to be out there, he likes to interact with people, he's full of energy, he's always on. He's always been kind of fearless, and, and I think he's always been willing to, to talk to anybody. I tried a lot of different things when I was at UCSD. Uh, the leader in the student government, edited the paper, played multiple sports. It was a great fit for someone who's a self-starter, who, who, who wanted to make connections and build connections and uh, build community. And you know, that's kind of who I am, and, and therefore it was a tremendous fit. He was involved with student government back then, and one of the things that student government did, I think, I think it was their, their doing, was they got these TGIFs going. Now the students paid a fee, and the fee was raised. We weren't quite sure where all that fee money went to for student activities. And so we went to the administration and said, hey, can we get some money for this uh, student life project that I was working on? And they agreed. And so we would have a, a monthly beer bash. What my role was, I was the instigator and the man in charge, and I had the beer guy doing the beer and the rock and roll guy doing the rock and roll. <laughs> and uh, these became legendary events with we have hundreds, if not a thousand, of students uh, there and, and once a month enjoying Friday. What is Jamie's secret to success? He's always been a person who goes for it. I mean, he, he goes all in. Because of that, I think he was always destined for success. I'm often asked at March Capital why we go after audacious goals that might be societal needs, whether it's cybersecurity or quantum computing or synthetic biology, where we can change the future of healthcare. And it's a really a simple reason. I, I, you know, we want to do things that are meaningful. I founded the Montgomery Summit in 2004. It's just become an incredible event for entrepreneurs, investors, execs to do discovery. It always attracts the kind of people who are not happy with status quo. And more often than not, those are very inspirational people to be around. We have the keynote speakers, we have inspirational leaders. For seven years now, we had a big program celebrating the rise of the female entrepreneur. We have it's one of the largest female entrepreneur programs in the country now as well. The change is very meaningful. It can impact people's lives in drastically positive ways. That's what we invest in. So whether it's inventing, you know, using artificial intelligence to invent a new protein that can save lives or rewrite the genetic code. And we're trying to you know, eliminate sickle cell and um, cystic fibrosis. Back on our company, it's using AI to shorten a, a drug development by 70%. Because this is probably one of the most important areas of innovation over the next uh, coming decades. But how can you can use artificial intelligence to speed up drug development and do targeted therapeutics on, you know, on proteins or you know, inherit, inherit diseases. But it's not a job, it doesn't feel like work. It feels like a mission that we're on to do something that's a lot of fun. How fun is it to build great companies? And how fun is it to you know, change the world? Jamie, congratulations, not just from me, from the entire firm on winning this incredible award. Congratulations, Jamie, on this award. 
I think you're the most deserving alumni I know from my time as an undergraduate, and I am grateful that I've known you over the years, and I thank you for your service to UCSD.